Hey guys, it's Tim Verdauw here, and today I'll be reviewing VidHost Pro, which allows you to host all of your videos for a one-time payment. Now, this is similar to a service like Vimeo, Wistia, etc. Uh, super cool video player, customizable. You can create playlists and more, and that all for just a one-time price. Now, I've done the demo video for this product as well. So in the demo video, I'll show you everything uh, what you can expect inside of Vitos Pro. So that's what I'm gonna show you. Before I do so, I wanna mention that there is a link in the description of this video. If you're interested in picking up Vithos Pro, uh, you're also going to get some free upgrades if you pick it, uh, this up through my link. So make sure to check out that link in the description. You can also find some more information. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this and let me show you the full demo of Vithos Pro. Hey there, and welcome to this demo video of Vithos Pro. Now, Vidos Pro allows you to upload and share all of your videos. But that's not all. You're also able to access My Drive, where you're also able to store images, documents, audio files, and more. To get started, go to Videos. Here you will see a list of all of the videos that you've uploaded to Vidos Pro. To upload a new video, simply click on New Video, where you're able to upload a video from your computer. Simply select the video and upload it to Vithost Pro. Once the video has completed uploading, you can go to the next step to customize your video. In this step, you're able to give your video a title, a description, a tag, and you can also give it a category. When you click save, you can go to the next tab here at the left side menu where you're able to add chapters to your video. When you select this option, you're able to add chapters by setting the time here. So for example, at zero seconds, we start with the intro of the video. And then after 10 seconds, we set our second title. Then you can set a third chapter, a fourth chapter, just how many chapters you like. And once you're done, you click on save so that you can go to the next tab. In this tab, we're going to customize our player. So for example, we've selected blue-eyed, but when you click on this button here, you can also choose for Big Macs, for example, and then the player will look different. Now, if you'd like to create your own player, that's also possible. Simply click on the plus here, give it a title, and then fill out all the details here, like the player color, if you like to have a blue color, the player text color, controls for example if you want to center the play button or not if you want to display the video title or you want to show the play bar or not or the control button you can all enable or disable it here in these settings you can also decide to auto play the video or maybe you want to display a thumbnail once you're done simply click on make custom player and your custom player has been made that's your custom player look at these colors you can match them with your own brand still in the same tab we can also go to the frame option in this option you will be able to add a frame on top of your video so let's say you want to play your video inside of an iphone here we can do that simply save your option in here and look at this boom now our player is playing inside of an iphone Simply save your option, and once you embed your video into your website, this iPhone will be displayed. Also, you will be able to choose a custom thumbnail. Simply stop the video here, for example, here, click on Get Screenshot, and now you can choose this thumbnail to be your thumbnail. Simply save your option and continue. If you like to have subtitles, you can do that as well. You can paste your SRT file here. In the advertisement tab, you will be able to add advertisement to your videos. So for example, we give this advertisement a name and in the player, you can decide where you want the ad to be shown. So for example, after two seconds, we can select the type of advertisement we like to show. For example, pop-ups, video apps, HTML, image or text. Let's say we want to have a pop-up where people can sign up in order 
to watch the rest of the video. Simply choose one of the pop-ups, select the pop-up here, and now you can modify the pop-up that will be shown on top of your video. This is a drag and drop editor where you can modify it to your own needs. Once you're done, you simply click on publish and now this pop-up will be shown on your video after two seconds. As you can see, the advertisement is being shown below the video. If you want to add another advertisement, let's say a second one, you can choose that from the menu here. So you could do a video app where you can upload here and redirect to another URL. You could do your own custom HTML inside of your video. You could do images that you can upload, or maybe you want to add text on top of your video. You'll be able to skip or not skip the video after a certain amount of seconds and simply hit save and your actions are done. Another option will be to replace your video. So let's say you're not satisfied with the current video, then you can select another video from your PC and then you can replace the current video that's already embedded on your website here in the backend. Another option is here the SEO, where you can give a meta title, meta description, meta keywords or focus keywords. You can decide to index or no index the robot meta. And here you can also add your own analytics script like Google Analytics tracking code, third party analytics tracking code or Facebook remarketing pixel script. In the security tab, you will be able to set this video to public, to private, or maybe you want to password protect your video. You can type it in here and then you can share your videos with a password. In this case, we go for public, we save and activate our video. Now our video is ready to be embedded on our website. And as you can see here, you get this code that you can add to any website. If you like to share the video directly, you can go to the video URL tab where you get your own URL, which you can also add it here and share with the rest of the world. Now, when we go back to our videos, you can see that our video has been uploaded here to the list of videos. From here, you can manage your video, you can view your analytics, or you can preview your video here. When we click on the right dots here, you're able to get the embed code or view the video page, or maybe you want to delete your video. Now, a cool new feature is the playlist option. When we go to the playlist, you will be able to create playlists for your video. To create a new playlist, simply click on new playlist, give it a name, you can upload an image or choose from your library. In this case, I'm uploading an image, reviews, and I choose that to be a thumbnail. Now I can add videos to my playlist. Simply click on add videos, and select the videos that you would like to show inside of your playlist. Simply click on add into playlist, select the playlist where you want to add the videos and click on add. Now, when we go to our playlist here, you can see that we have our playlist ready and we can view our videos here. If we want to see our playlist, simply go to your playlist, click on the three dots and click on view playlist. This will give the page that you can share with your audience where you can see the playlist of videos here. As you can see here, you can also see the ad that we created where people can fill out their email address in order to see the rest of the video or they can skip the video. And here is the other call to action that we've added to our video. Also, you can share your playlist on any website. Simply click on the three dots, click on get embed code. And from here you can choose how you would like to design your playlist. You can choose between dark mode or light mode or orientation as vertical or horizontal. Simply copy the code, paste it to your website. And here you see how beautiful it looks on your website. This is the bottom aligned playlist. And this is the right aligned playlist. Once people have signed up to your list through your video, you'll find them in your audience. When you click on contacts, you'll see all the contacts that have been stored through your signup forms. 
when we go back to audience here and click on communication, we can also see the comments that has been placed on top of our videos. When we go to our analytics, we can see the audience, how many total visits we got to our videos. We can see the technology, the locations, and the goal of our videos. When we click on more, we can go to my drive. And in my drive, you can upload your files like images, documents, videos, audio files, and other. Simply click on upload and upload your files. And that's what VidHost Pro is all about. Simply host all of your videos and files inside one account. All right, so that was the demo of VidHost Pro. If you're interested, again, there's a link in the description of this video. And uh, if you're interested in more, to see more of those videos, uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of product reviews. Uh, hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new review. Uh, and for now, thank you so much for watching. Please hit a thumbs up if this video was useful. Uh, and I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.